This video covers information on planning a trip. When you are working in remote locations, you are isolated from help. Planning a trip makes sure you are working safely according to work health and safety policies and procedures. There is important information you need to prepare before going on a fishing trip. First, identify where you are going. Once the location has been confirmed, you need to notify someone. This may be your manager, family, friends or the rangers, as long as someone knows. This is called a response officer. You need to tell your response officer six vital parts of your trip in case something happens and they need to send help. Where are you going? What are you doing? For example, fishing at the Blythe River. Who will be going with you? When will you be leaving? And most importantly, what time are you due back? How are you getting there? With a vehicle or a vessel? Why? Explain to the response officer their duties and to come looking for you if you're not back at the scheduled time. Preparing this information and notifying your response officer will ensure if something happens on your trip and you are not back at the time you said, the response officer will send help to find you. Ensure that you have recorded and packed all the required emergency contact numbers. Brief the crew on what to do in an emergency and who to contact. Ensure all phones and radios are fully charged before heading out. Emergency contacts can be Triple O or Coastal Radio Darwin if fishing on a boat, Activity Coordinator, Community Police, Community Health Clinic, Ranger Base, Ranger Satellite Phone. Think about some common hazards when preparing for your fishing trip. Have there been any storms or floods? Have there been any dangerous animals seen in the area? Are there any fires or planned burns in the area? Before you go on your trip, make sure you check the weather forecast to make sure it is safe to work outside. Are any warnings current in your area? Are the weather conditions good or bad? And if fishing on a boat, what are the wind trends? What are the wave conditions? And when is the next high and low tide? Good websites to check the weather forecast are weatherzone.com.au, bom.gov.au. PPE is equipment that will protect you against health or safety risks while out fishing. It can include items such as safety gloves, sunglasses, high visibility clothing, safety footwear and a hat. Be a responsible team leader. Before you head out, make a checklist. This will help to remember all the equipment that needs to be packed for your trip. Check that your boat or vehicle is in good condition. Check that you have all the required safety equipment with you and it's in good working condition. You have phone numbers for your response officer and emergency contacts. Brief the crew on what to do in an emergency and make sure everybody knows where the safety equipment is stored. Life jacket, wear it. If it's not on, it can't save you. Have your ACL license with you. Make sure you have enough water and fuel for the trip. This is an example of what can happen when you don't prepare for a trip. When it was time to go to work, one of the crews got ready and went off straight away. They didn't tell a response officer or pack any food or water. When they arrived at the fishing spot, the tide was too high and they could not work. So they travelled down a sandy track to another fishing spot. They caught a big mob of fish, then jumped in the car to take back the catch, but the car wouldn't start. The crew were tired from a big day in the hot sun with no water or food. The only option was to start walking to the main track. The crew were stuck there all night. A car drove past early morning and they asked the driver to get help. Eventually, help arrived in the afternoon. The crew were tired, hungry and thirsty. They had to throw out all the fish they caught as the ice melted and it was no good. This is an example of a well-planned trip. The crew arrived at their workplace to discuss their next fishing trip. The team leader checked the weather and tide times to see when it was a good day to go fishing at their favourite fishing spot, Crab Creek. Next, the team leader briefed the crew and told them they will leave at 8am and will be back by 1pm. He made a checklist and went through it with the crew to make sure they had all the safety equipment and emergency contact details packed and ready for their trip. 
Hugo went on to ask the Rangers if they were available to be their response officers the next day. Hi Rangers, we're planning our fishing trip for tomorrow at Crab Creek. There'll be John, Bob, Lewis and myself. We're leaving at 8am and we'll be back by 1pm. We're going by vehicle down the old bino track to Crab Creek. Can you be our response officer? Yeah, I can be your response officer. If you're not back by 1pm, we'll come looking for you. Have a great day fishing. The rangers can be our response officers for our trip tomorrow. The checklist is completed and the vehicle is packed with our PPE, fishing equipment, water, food and plenty of ice for the fish. Preparing ahead of time takes all the stress out of your day. Don't make the mistake of being unprepared.